Recent headlines indicate that aggressive driving is on the increase. Road rage is a serious problem and should be dealt with seriously. I'm not 100% that confident that that's going to happen as we turn to the weekly's problem solver, Kitty Flanagan. Kitty Flanagan, problem solver. <laughs> Kitty, welcome, welcome. Oh. Mate, road rage. I don't get it. I mean, what is not to like about being in the car? You're in a comfortable chair. Sometimes it's leather. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> you know? You've got a stereo system. You've got climate control. You can put your McDonald's between your legs. You've got a cup holder. <laughs> Man, that is like a party at my house. I mean, sure. I throw some pretty shit parties. But <laughs> <laughs> the question is, why are we so angry behind the wheel? Are we always that angry? I went out and did an experiment to find out what happens when you remove the car from the equation. <laughs> Bang, fender bender. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Come right in front. <laughs> Stopped in the no stopping zone. Sorry. Random oh, lane changing. Sorry. sorry, sorry. Wrong lane. Oh, God. Sorry. God, sorry. Hold out. No indicator. <laughs> Serious sorry. tailgating. Oh, sorry. Oops. Sorry. Lane drift clipped him. <laughs> that light's green. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> mm, interesting, isn't it? People were so nice. I mean, I was the asshole, yet a lot of those people apologised to me. No one shouted at me. No one gave me the finger. No one threatened to punch my stupid head in. Yet if I'd been in a car, that's exactly what would have happened. Hmm. Perhaps people don't cause road rage. Roads do. Nothing irritates a driver more than when they just miss that green light. But I think I have a solution. I call it Flanagan's Theory. And I'm off to Melbourne University to see if it works. Professor, here's the problem. Light turns red, traffic stops. Light turns green, first car takes off. Second car waits for first car to take off, then it takes off. Third car waits for both cars to take off, then they take off. What if this happened? Light turns green, Everybody puts their foot down at once and takes off together. <laughs> How many more cars would get through to you, sir? Would it work? No. <laughs> Maybe that solves only part of the problem. You get everyone taking off. Yes. Then yes, they all take off together. And so, as you said, they all start to go through. Now, this group here, which is half a metre apart, and they're all accelerating together, mm -hmm. and they suddenly get to 60 kilometres per hour, mm -hmm. and they're half a metre apart, mm -hmm. and then a little duck walks out in front of this one, mm -hmm. and these guys can't see the duck. They could see the red light. They don't see the duck, so this person stops, and these don't see the duck. Mm. OK, so I think we have the solution. So long as we can keep ducks off the road, <laughs> Flanagan's theory works. Thank you very much, Professor. Solved.